Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we will see how to set up Luxfox SC3336 3 megapixel camera with the Luxfox Pico Mini B RV1103 Linux micro development board. Okay, so here you can see on the camera we have Luxfox Pico Mini B RV1103 Linux micro development board, and here we have the 3 megapixel of camera. Now we want to integrate this camera with this board. Okay, then how we can do that and make sure this board must have to run the build root operating system. If you are using Ubuntu operating system inside this board, then you can't integrate the camera with this board. Okay, so I have already uh, flashed the build root operating system inside the NAND storage of this board. Now we will attach the camera with this board and then we will see the live stream from this camera. So this is how you have to connect your camera with the Luxfox Pico Mini B RV1103 Linux micro development board. Okay. And uh, you can place these two things like this. Okay. Now you can connect your USB-C cable with this board and you can directly live stream this camera. So I'm going to connect this USB-C cable with this board. Okay. I have connected it. And uh, here you can see the red LED is blinking. So it means that our OS is getting booted and we have flashed the build root operating system. Okay. And if you visit the documentation, then here you can see the current streaming is only available for the build root system. So if you have flashed the Ubuntu operating system inside your Luxbox Pico Mini B board, then the camera integration won't work. Okay. So you have to flash build root operating system. Now, we know that if we have flashed the build root operating system inside the any of the Luxfox board, then this one is the default IP address for USB interface. Okay, so we can directly uh, access the terminal of this board using this SSH command. So let me log into the board. Okay, and we are already inside the board. Now you have to navigate to the user data directory. Okay, so CD user data. And here you have to check for the rkipc.ini. So if this file is generated, okay, then your camera is successfully integrated with your Luxbox Pico Mini B board. Okay, so we have already this rkipc.ini file available here. So we have successfully, uh, you know, integrate the camera with this board. Now we can use this IP address to get the live stream from the camera. So you can open the VLC media player. And you can go to this media option. You can click on the open network stream. And here you can use this IP address to live stream your camera. RSTP colon slash slash your IP address of your Luxbox Pico Mini B board. Or if you are using Luxbox Pico Pro Max board, then you can also provide the IP address of that board. And then slash live and then slash zero. Okay. After that, you have to click on the show more option and here instead of 1000 millisecond of catching time, we will change it to 300 millisecond. Okay. And then we will click on the play button. Okay. Here you can see the live stream from my camera. Okay. Let me open to camera parallelly. Okay. So this is our camera. Okay. And here is the live stream of our camera. Okay. You can see. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, you can see. Okay, so this is how you can integrate your uh, Luxfox Pico camera with Luxfox Pico Mini B RV1103 Linux micro development board. Okay, and yeah, that's all about the integration of this camera with the Luxfox Pico Mini B board. If you have any question or any doubt, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. Also, you can send me a mail. Also, you can comment on this video or send me a message on LinkedIn. So we have successfully integrated the Luxfox camera with the Luxfox Pico Mini B Linux development board. Okay. And if you want to get the documentation, then I will provide this link in the description of this video. So you can refer this documentation. So in the documentation, make sure you have this uh, rkipc.ini file located inside the user data once you integrate your camera with, the, with your board. And then after, if you are uh, going to stream your camera over the USB interface, then you have to use this IP address. If you are going to stream your camera feed using Ethernet, okay, if you are having Luxbox Pico Pro Max board, then you have to use this IP address. And if you are using uh, Luxbox Pico Ultra W board, then you will have the Wi-Fi and Ethernet IP address both. Okay. 
and uh, yeah rest of the thing are same so i hope this is clear that how you can integrate the camera with the luckfox pico mini b board running the build root operating system so let's meet in the future videos okay till then take care goodbye and thank you